And now, part three of Hidden Agenda. You still think it's me? Like, I have to be honest, but it does kind of look like you, and that's not gonna help your case. If that was me on the footage, then why would I show it to you? I mean, why wouldn't I just kill you back at the cabin? You kind of almost did. Touche. The guy on that video? In the hoodie? Same guy I chased earlier. You sure? Pretty sure. All right, so this hooker, she's working with the trapper. Why? She lures them and kills them and he sets up the trap? Uh, the thing that I'm stuck on, where did the hooker go? She goes into the bathroom and the hoodie guy comes out. I did some digging on Simon Hillary. What do you mean? I kind of took a peek at his personnel file. Took a what? Then I found his high school yearbook online. Becky, are you sure that's a good idea right now? Sometimes you gotta break a few eggs. What'd you find? I found Simon Hillary. So? That's Simon Hillary. Wait, are, are you saying our Simon is not the Simon? What if he stole this guy's identity? But how? The timeline fits. They'd be about the same age. And look, you can see a resemblance. Adam supposedly died in the fire, then pretty soon after, Simon Hillary starts his training. He's been following me since the briefing. Simon? Or Adam, I guess? Yeah. He knew I'd be looking into old cases, and that, with enough digging, they'd lead me right to him. Damn it. I'm not sure if there's enough here yet for a warrant. No, no, no. He... He lied on his application. He's stolen someone's identity. Okay, so he's a fraud. We could get him kicked off the force, but we still can't prove that he's a killer. Shit. Thanks. When Calvary was investigating the trapper five years ago, he had one big blind spot. Prostitutes. The first target, the Undertaker. Met with a hooker the night he was killed. Father Rominski had a thing for hookers. And now Calvary is killed by a hooker. At least someone dressed like one. If it is, Simon, maybe he's using a hooker to lure his targets into a premeditated murder site. Or maybe there's just, maybe there's something we're missing. I just, I don't even know what to think anymore. I feel like everyone is out to get me. Don't worry, detective. You're safe with me. I'll cheers to that. Maybe Simon's working with Daniela Cardenas. She could have been the hooker with Calvary. Well, I guess it's possible. And they're trying to track her down, so 
Maybe we'll be able to ask her. Simon knew Jonathan Finn started talking, and, and then he killed Calvary because he knew everyone would immediately suspect me. Throw them all right off the scent. <sighs> Christ. He's been right in front of our face this whole time. What? Felicity, what? Well, a search warrant for Simon's house is out of the question. But there is another way. Like? He knows you, so you could call him up for a drink, and while he's out here and you've got your eyes on him... Seriously? You want to break into his house? Well... Felicity, that's illegal. But we'd know for sure. Felicity, I don't think either of us should be getting in that kind of trouble. There has to be another way. My advice? Sleep on it. Take all this to Sergeant in the morning. All right. See ya. Hey, Lana. Check your email, now. What email? Oh. Whoever did this makes a compelling argument Marnie killed Calvary. Well, more than just Calvary. Play the audio. Cannot believe the mouth on this Marnie chick. We gotta be careful, or she'll blow this whole operation. What'd she say? Threatened me. Us. All of us. She's out of control. Someone's been holding on to that for years. Did you recognize the voices? No. Should I? It's been confirmed. There are two of the officers killed by the trapper. Okay, we don't know if this is real. Felicity, Finn is not the trapper. Someone on the inside's been pulling the strings this whole time. Detective Becky Marnie. See you again, Daniela. Resisting arrest? Uh-oh. Somebody's in a bit of trouble. Suck my nuts. And hello. Ben's come clean. We know you want a real hostage back in 2012. Daniela, you've made some mistakes. But you were a victim. And your sister, I'm sorry about what you both went through. The system failed you. That made you angry, right? He wanted to make him pay. Is that what Adam Jones said he would do? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. And it makes you a co-conspirator. Doesn't look good for you, but if you help us, we can help you. Sure. He's the one who set it up. He told me what he did to the fuckers who hurt me in his heat, but I have no clue where he is now. You haven't seen him at all since the arrest. I saw him once. He didn't recognize me. He looked all different, but I recognized him. You can always tell from his creep-ass eyes. <laughs> Even all cleaned up. Cleaned up how? I don't know, he's like... a cop doctor or something. Detective Nelson, I need to speak with you. We're right in the middle of this. Now. Don't go anywhere. There's been an abduction. Judge Van Stone. Witness says it was Becky Marnie who took him.
Judge Baird soon? Oh, fuck. Oh, my God. Oh, God. What? What? What did she do to me? What did she put inside me, goddammit? Ah, uh, Judge uh, Vanstone, I, um... What is it? It's the trapper. You're... You're... You, you, you're rigged! I... Uh, what? Oh, no. No, 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 no! It's oh. probably an, an, an explosive and... Shit. Uh, oh, God! How's your head, Detective Marty? I'm coming for you. They know you did it. They know you killed everyone. There's no escape. You're the trapper, Becky. Why are you doing this? Tell me why. Haven't you fucked with me enough? Oh, please, Dr. Marty. So vain. I don't give a goddamn about you. Sorry. If you will notice, there is a small heartbeat tracker on Judge Vanstone's wrist. It is synchronized to a cell phone that I have surgically implanted into his stomach. The phone is just a timer. But every beat of his heart knocks another second off. The faster his heart races, the quicker the clock. Now, would you care to guess what happens when the numbers reach zero? Game over. For anyone in, say, uh, a hundred foot radius, give or take, which will most likely include all the police who are swarming in to arrest you right now. Sometimes killing is the only option. What? You can try to run, but uh, I can't promise you I'm not gonna pop that balloon a bit early. And there's enough explosives in there to level the whole floor. Jesus Christ. I left your fire on for a reason. Stop the heart, stop the timer. You can't be serious. I can be whatever I want. You can be alive or you can be dead. That's your choice. And the clock's ticking. What did he say? Are you gonna get me out of this? What did he say? Could you get me out of this, please? Shh. Please, 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 just stay. Stay calm, stay calm. I, 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 I... Oh, shit. If the timer reaches zero, then we're both dead. How much time? Take this phone out of me. It can't hurt me, right? 
You gotta get it out of me! I can't take it! Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! Nelson. Jesus, Becky, where are you? Oh, God. Tom. We got a tip that you kidnapped Judge Vanstone. Said you were hiding out at the Elliott Hotel. We are outside right now. I'm at the hotel, but you gotta help me. Please. <sighs> Damn it. Two minutes. Then SWAT's coming in. Go. Now. Now you've fucking done it. Tom. Thank you. Close there, Tom. You got me. I've had enough of your shit.
Earlier today, Judge William Vanstone was kidnapped from his home on the east side of the city. He has since been rescued and is back with his family recovering. Detective Marty escaped the scene and then proceeded to invade the home of Simon Hillary, a forensics medical examiner with the local police. Detective Becky Marty has been investigating Hillary in connection to the murder of Detective Jack Calvary. Simon Hillary, a forensics medical examiner with the local police department, was being considered a suspect and has now been shot and killed by law enforcement at his residence in the South Bank neighborhood. According to files we've obtained from an anonymous leak within the police force, Detective Marnie was implicated in the notorious 2012 Trapper killings, previously attributed to Jonathan Finn. An investigation is ongoing. Sergeant Riggs made a brief statement to the press only moments ago. All of us on the force are very grateful to Detective Marnie. Thanks to her tireless efforts, the Trapper's killing spree is finally over. He never suspected Simon Hillary. He fooled us all. Well, not all of us. Not my partner. Becky Marnie saved my life. She should get a goddamn medal as far as I'm concerned. I already told you everything I know. Why don't you leave me alone? I didn't want any of this to happen. None of it's gonna bring my sister back. Do you understand? Do you know someone named Simon Hillary? Marnie, she's a tough nut to crack, and yes, she's got a lot of baggage, but I should have trusted her. She was right. And what about the charges against her? The charges? I think they're bullshit. Anything else you want to add about Adam Jones? My only regret is that I didn't nail that son of a bitch five years ago. 